got my trunking coming down. Don't look at them connectors, <laughs> that's just temporary. <laughs> what I forgot to say is there's no bonding here. Here's a gas pipe, no bonding on it. There's a stop cock, but that's not bonded either. So I'll have to bond that. So all the years, well, they had gas bonded, but no water bonding to look like. There was a spark here. I've come to have a look at a job. They want a new consumer unit fitted. I think the guy's gonna do an extension eventually. And also he's gonna have uh, some sort of garden shed that he wants electricity going to. And he did specifically say that is um, he wants a fuse board with SBD protection. I think his dad is a retired electrician or something. Must have advised him to do that, I don't know. Oh, right, so we're gonna change this situation into a new fuse board. You said you wanted SBD protection as well, yeah? Surge, yeah, yeah, Surge yeah. protection, so it's gonna be RCBOs with um, SPD protection also, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. And uh, this is, this was for the wet room. Okay. The wet room was there, which we've knocked out. Okay, cool. Yeah, and this, these two were for the wet room as well, so yeah. I guess this set up here can okay, be yeah. now. That's cool, that. yeah, okay. This funny old setup for the um, mains there. Hold yeah. up, that's, so, I've never seen that before. Two armored, so what is that? I wonder if that's um, uh, two phases, I wonder. <laughs> never seen that before. Two armoreds coming in. Mm, okay, cool, that's all good. Yeah, so what, like I said, it's advisable to do a test. Yeah, yeah. So, because what it is, this happens all the time. You fit a new fuse board, RCD protection, and things start tripping. Yeah, yeah. But so it's best if you identify that before, and you do yeah. that by doing a test of the... Right, so let's come in, do the testing, find out what's, what the situation is, and um, then do the fuse board. Right, so this is the current setup. Got those cables coming down there from up there. And you've got these cables coming at the top. Now, all that's got to be removed. This line here, the client in the future is going to drop this staircase, right? That's the stairs going up. So he plans to drop this staircase to this line. Okay, it's coming down here. So this, he wants this dropped as low as possible. I think eventually he might have to get this dropped as low as possible. So, so all these cables here got to come down onto this line. All these cables there got to come down onto this line here. So I intend to run some MT5 down here. Come down here. I'm going to mount some big trunk along here, butt that up, sit the fuse board on top. SB, the client wants SBD switch, so he intends to do a loft extension and add some more um, uh, supply to the um, shed and all that. So um, I've instead of fitting a fuse board with SBD in it, because if you if you say you fit a 20-way fuse board. That's two ways for the main switch and two ways for the SPDs. So that comes down to 16 ways. And you may need a bit more than that. So what I've got is a eight, uh, 20 way fuse board, 18 usable ways, and the main isolator with SPD, which is gonna go here, near to the, near to the main supply where it's got to go. Um, and then uh, that's it, main isolator with SPD here trunking along here, fuse board here and also what gives a little bit of problem is going to build a toilet in this area here so I've got limited area as far as I can to the distance I can go over he wants everything to this side as close as possible okay so I'll get on with that and hopefully film it and you can see it right so that's where I've left it today got my trunking coming down don't look at them connectors, <laughs> that's just temporary. <laughs> I just wanted to get the light and some sockets on for them before I go. There's my fuse board there, trunking. Couple of circuits connected for them to use. 
So when I come back tomorrow now, get it all sorted. I got a, also, what I forgot to say is there's no bond in here. Here's a gas pipe, no bonding on it. That was the original gas, gas pipe and they bonded it down there, you, as you can see. But when they put the new one in, they didn't bond it. So that's got to be done. Also, down here you've got the water pipe. Hopefully you can see that there's a stop cock, but that's not bonded either. So I'll have to bond that. So all the years, well, they had gas bonded, but no water bonding to look like. Because I can't see any um, water bonding from the fuse board that would have been going there. So it's definitely not bonded. So get back, get on that tomorrow. Right, um, that's the completed job there. I luckily, there's a 100 amp fuse in the head, so I only had to use 16 mil. But if that was 25 mil, it's, it's a nightmare because you have to come down here and bend it into the side. Over one of the connections is here, the live and the neutral, and then you've got to bend the 16 mil earth in. So it's too much, man. Really tight. I wouldn't advise using one like that. I don't know why they don't make it a bit wider. Give you a bit because if you had to use, like I said, 25 mil tails, that would be really hard. Get the fuse board. Just trunk and going up. There you go. Job done. A completed job. As you can see, that job's completed now. Um, uh, I don't know if you picked up much from that because I wasn't able to film the process, the old process of doing the fuse board and the bonding in there. So I just didn't have the time. I had to keep concentrating what I was doing. But hopefully you saw the start of it and the finish. Um, I hope you can get something out of it. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time. Don't forget, if you want to grow your business, and it's not just um, electricians or building trade it's any business because i remember once we done a job and there was a lady i think she made wigs for rich people or whatever and she was talking to omari about getting in um to do some stuff for her so it's any any kind of business you want to grow it go and contact omari he can help you out he's really good